The Honorable Member for Northumberland, Quinty West. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And it seemed like I was listening to the member ad infinitum, but but he, um, I thought we were talking about C4 for a while, but he strayed off into prison farms. And what he doesn't realize is that very, very, very few people are finding work uh, in the animal husbandry uh, uh, business. Uh, that's because, of course, he and I both know that farmers are struggling. But what we do want to do, uh, and uh, my riding being home to Canada's largest federal penitentiary, I can tell you a lot of good things are happening uh, with, with the people who are serving <clears throat> time there. They're learning trades. Some of them are actually getting their ticket, sandblasters, for instance. And they're, and they're finding jobs in some cases before they leave prison. Uh, so they're learning a trade. While they're in jail, they're getting an education so that they can get a better job to provide for themselves and their family. Uh, and I could go on and on and on and on, uh, but the member from Malpec uh, should avail himself of some of Professor Martin, who appeared before the Justice Committee. Professor Martin from the University of Fraser Valley uh, did say that sentencing does provide, uh, does provide a deterrence, but I wonder if the member from Malpec could tell the House when the protection of society should be given uh, consideration when sentencing young offenders. And further, is he of the opinion that the protection of society should be, uh, should be continued? The Honourable Member for Melpac. Of course, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, just to the, to the last point first, the protection of society is extremely important, and it should be uh, given consideration all the time, in fact. But there's many ways of considering that protection of society. One of them, one of them is having governments at both federal and provincial levels work on the preventive side, providing daycare, which that government took away, for instance, child care and daycare, which that government took away. Uh, the other way to pr protect societies uh, is to uh, is to do as I suggested earlier, have rehabilitation programs in place that when people go to uh, go into the prison system, uh, that, uh, that, they, that they come out rehabilitated. But what this government is, is emulating is the system in the United States where you build more jails, throw them away. Now, the member, the member from Quinty West talked about other skills. They're important. Of course those other skills are important. But What's also important is what people learn by working on the farm. I know you've got a, we've got a government over there that doesn't care about farm policy, and I believe the member said farmers are struggling, and it is no wonder they're struggling, Mr. Speaker, because they're struggling. Last year, the government spent $900 million less on farm safety programs than the year before. The hog industry's in trouble. The potato industry's in trouble. The beef industry's in trouble, and we've got a government that just doesn't care. They just, they don't care about farmers, it seems, any more than they care about the people they throw in prison. It's unacceptable.